What are your expectations for this trip the next couple days? I don't, I mean, I read the uh, itinerary, it gave me no clue. I, I looked at the schedule, so it looked kind of interesting. You know, along there it says they're going to have us go into that maze, the martial arts center of excellence. So, you know, it's going to be cool, it's going to be interesting. Well, I know very little about the Marine Corps, you know. Hopefully I'll find out some more today. Have you ever met uh, Brian Stamp before? I have met Brian Stamp. He's, I mean, he's a horrible person. And, uh, <laughs> I hope I don't run into him on this trip. <laughs> Brian, you recognize uh, all of this? Them. I've run up and down these roads a million times. So it's an honor to come back. Uh, you know, Colonel Shisko and, and all the guys that work at the Mesa, I constantly keep in touch with them. And, um, you know, a lot of their principles are really my foundation, not just in fighting, but just in life. Welcome to the Martial Arts Center of Excellence. My name is Master Sergeant Polzin. At the Martial Arts Center of Excellence is where the headquarters is for the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. But we actually train the instructor trainers. These are the individuals that will go out in the operating forces and train all Marines to the standards set by the Commandant of the Marine Corps. Concentrating your efforts towards being a better warrior. The Marine Corps Martial Arts Program has been around for about 10 years now. It's a combination of many different martial arts disciplines with one mind, any weapon, as our motto. Our program is as much a leadership program as it is a combatives program. So we not only teach the Marines, of course, all the kicking and punching and knife fighting and ground fighting and, and fighting with rifles and that stuff, but we also teach them how to be good leaders. We're going to go out to the pit, and, uh, and the Marines are going to do a demo. All right, the first thing that you're going to see is a combat engagement pattern. Uh, Marines are all taught how to use a rifle and a bayonet because that's part of our, 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 um, our warrior skills. One of the biggest differences in, in mixed martial arts and a Marine is the weapons base. Obviously, the, the mixed martial arts, they have their weapons in their hands and their knees and their elbows, but we carry weapons. No matter where you go around the Marine Corps, you're going to find a pit like this, and there are going to be Marines out there. There'll be instructor trainers with various different skills teaching the Marines up to their level. And it's something that is basically made ethical warriors for the Marine Corps. We're real proud of that. Ethical warrior, to me, uh, starts with that mindset that we all live a balanced life. We're not just focused on uh, fighting. We're focused on the mental discipline of um, honing your minds to be a warrior. We're focused on physical discipline of actually being physically in shape. And then we're also tying everything to character. Oh, sorry, I won't tell you again. Stay no, back. I just stay, back. I just stay back now. Get up. Get up. I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to kick you, but you want to stay back. Just stay back. I don't want to hurt you, sir. Stay back. Stay back. Shh. What I say? All right. We can go back inside and get warmed up before we go out in the last of the Mohicans. All right. <laughs> what are you pulling out today for the um, fighters? Uh, all the stuff they're going to need for uh, last of the Mohicans, uh, batons, uh, the Moga Jews, which is like a training rifle, um, sharkies, which are uh, like plastic knives, and then um, hockey gloves, protect your hands, uh, face masks like this one right here, with cages on the front, protect your face and everything like that. Then they'll have flag jackets too. Welcome to the last of the Mohicans. Uh, for those who don't remember, my name is Master Sergeant Polzin. Your mission is to maneuver your way through the rough terrain to approximately 400 meters where the trail ends. You can expect that that enemy is going to be extremely hostile and that you're going to be outnumbered by that enemy. All right, rules of engagement. It's anything goes, all right? You don't have to worry about non-lethal force. Anything goes. The Marine that's escorting you will decide when the bout is over with. So if you execute a killing blow on that enemy combat element, then he'll say, time, the enemy's dead. We've got to keep moving. You have your choice. You can either take a wooden bayonet trainer, a training baton, or a knife. Any questions at all, gentlemen? All right, we can get you on your way. Whenever you're ready. You're gonna die in this situation. At least take one of them out so your buddy behind you's got one to deal with instead of two. Go ahead, hey, pick one. Pick one and kill him. Aggression, aggression, aggression. Oh, 
<laughs> you know, coming up onto the first guy was bad, and then after that, two guys at a time. Uh, wasn't fun, you know? I mean, it was fun, to be honest with you, but it was, it was, it was rattling. I did like a four uh, fight, and I didn't survive anyone. So I don't, I don't believe it's easy. <laughs> you guys have fun? Absolutely. A lot. <laughs> right. You ready to sign up? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, we appreciate you guys being out here. And, uh, okay, we got half the day over. You still got some other challenges here this afternoon. But uh, good job out there. We heard you did real well. Thank Hurrah. You. Today we're going to be talking about the CFT, the combat fitness test. There's actually three parts to the CFT. There's an 880-yard run. After you run the 880 yards, you're going to do a, take a 30-pound ammo can and you're going to lift it overhead for as many times as possible in two minutes. After that, you're going to do the maneuver under fire. Basically, it consists of running back and forth, either carrying a partner or ammo cans. Ready, go, sprint! 25, let's go, let's go, let's go! The uh, Marine Corps' martial arts program uh, contributes to the Marine Corps' readiness by working on combat conditioning. Because of some of the areas we're going through now, we sometimes may get dropped off in a helicopter or a Humvee, and then we have to kick in a door or climb a mountain or something like that. Well, you need to be physically fit because you're carrying all this gear. So part of the program under the physical discipline of uh, martial arts is combat conditioning. So no longer are we putting on shorts and running shoes and running for three miles. Now we're putting on our utility trousers and our uh, shirt with a flak jacket and then we're going out doing functional fitness. So that prepares us more for the elements that we're gonna to go to because those elements have changed from uh, yesteryear. Time! 2.15 with the hit, minus five would be 2.10. That'd be 100 points. Nice job, Marine. Good job, dude. The CFT, any questions? This is a smoke test. The CFT is a great teaching tool to teach Marines to have that ultimate fitness. We don't have time to prepare we don't have a date scheduled. You know, we don't know who we're fighting or when we're fighting. We want performance on demand. And that demand is whenever. And the performance has to be high because lives depend on it. Anybody want to try the CFT? <laughs> crickets, the crickets. I hear you. It's, well, it's sunny and 65, 65 out, I'd, I'd, I'd try it. I hear you. You know, these guys have to be not only mentally strong because of what they're going through and everything, but I mean, these guys are unbelievable athletes, the pinnacle of the military. <laughs> you could ask him. You could ask him back in the day. Woo!